This is one of my favorites. With power work, freshness is key. With mobility work, one of the keys is, is consistency. We have to be there for one time, and most of the time it's in a really explosive way. I improved a lot with the help of the coaches here. Hey guys, Stefan Ortega here, Manchester City goalkeeper. We are here in the gym and I try to show you my routines uh, before and after the training sessions. This is Simon, uh, this is my coach here. Simon, show us, I think, five exercises for today for the normal routine before the training. I'm the head of strength and conditioning here with the first team at Man City. I'm going to take uh, him through his normal routine that he does, which will involve two lower body exercises, two uppers, and a little bit of mobility. And each one of those exercises is linked to some of the actions that Stefan will perform when he's out training or in a game. Okay, Stefan, let's go. Let's, let's start go. with the routine. Yeah. Yeah. And this is all about single, single arm power that you need as a goalkeeper as well as strength. Are you ready, Steph? That's perfect. Catch down. Yeah, so it's a little bit of lower body as well, but it's mainly the shoulder producing the power. And this is obviously really important for goalkeepers. It saves, punches, or throws. Brilliant goalkeeping by the City goalkeeper. He hurled himself to the right and tipped it round the post. On a typical day, uh, this will be done before training when he's nice and fresh. So we normally go three sets of five reps either side. It started uh, when I arrived here. Um, I had a little meeting with Simon and we spoke about what, uh, what goals I have, uh, what I did before in the past, um, because he said you are now in the age, you know your body and yeah, we try to find a way um, with a lot of exercises to, to reach a new level. So this is what we call a kind of hip thrust, glute bridge. What we do with it is it's a good piece of kit because we can load the exercise and make it into a strength exercise. Key things about this is it's uh, recruiting one of the main sort of extensors of the hip, which help when you're in that squat position as a goalkeeper, which you need to extend to explode up. And the muscles in the back of the leg, the gluteal muscles, are very important for pushing hip extension. So this is a safe way for us to load hip extension as a good strength exercise to complement how he jumps out on the pitch. And there's a good transfer from this to the pitch. Austin, by Ortega. Steph, if you want to do me a set of five, nice control. So see how he's moving through his hips and then he's coming back up and he's going to get a good glute contraction at the top. What we want with this is we don't really want the hamstrings involved, we want the glutes involved, because that's the muscle that's going to be more involved when he jumps on the pitch. Normally with this we would do three reps of five, so it's more of a strength exercise. It don't look like it's uh, really hard, but uh, it's one of the, <laughs> of the <laughs> worst exercises, because after you feel your uh, your pain here, um, but after on the pitch, you feel you're a bit more explosive than, than normal. So if you're gonna grab the 20s, come down. I just want you to hold one, control the other. So this is another upper body, more of a strength exercise. We did a power exercise before, this is more about control and a little bit heavier weight. When you're ready, Steph, six each side. So what he's doing is, as one's working, the other one is actually stabilizing around his shoulder joint, which is a, it's a good exercise because you're getting two things for one. So you get a stabilization on the shoulder that holds, and you get some work through the pecs and the shoulder on the one that works. And I think shoulder stabilization for a goalkeeper is really, really important because the shoulders take a lot of impact. They take a lot of torque when you throw, when you save. So it's really important as a goalkeeper that you look after your shoulders, whether that be strength, stability, mobility, you probably need a bit of everything. But this is a good exercise because it hits quite a few things at once. With that one, we'd normally do three sets of six reps 
each arm. Good bang people in that one. This is one of my favorites. When the legs are on the ground, you you know you have a bit help, but when the legs are in the air, the pressure is only here where you work. So I feel better when I do this like this. I think in football now in general, in other sports, the influence of Pilates is, is become more important now. And especially for a goalkeeper, uh, mobility uh, is really important because they get into some really high stretch positions, especially when a goalkeeper comes out. Because, you know, when I watch the training, there's a lot of times where the goalkeeper has to get big, and that's about, and I'm not a coach, but I see it, it's about, you know, making big shapes. And I think you can only do that safely if you have good mobility. Good tackle, but it reaches Hall. Shooting position. Hall, good save by Ortega. At times, strength work will increase the size of the muscle, the force production, but you don't want to lose mobility at the same time and become very, very stiff. Two sets of six, eight reps, just nice, controlled. So you're just spreading his legs for mobility around his groins. He's gently coming back. Again, this is something we'd normally do before training as part of a sequence. This is sort of preparing the hips for what he's, a goalkeeper's going to do outside, whether it be shooting, whether it be uh, stopping crosses, stopping shots. This is the, the most important for me. We have to be there for one time, um, and most of the time it's in a really explosive way. So, yeah, we have to be ready. Yes, let's go. Across, it's fallen loose and Ortega again dives to top it. I think as well with mobility work, one of the keys is, is consistency. You know, a little bit before each training, yeah. not on a Saturday 45 minute session, a little bit each day or a little bit every other day. This is how you get more mobile. You have to look after the body and you have to prepare the body appropriately especially as you get older. So this is another exercise around strength and specifically about strength when he's, uh, the goalkeeper is trying to jump up. So it gives you good force through the floor. Because I think when you're trying to generate what we call vertical force, which is up and down, it's important that the force you put through the floor equals how high you can jump. So this is a nice exercise, again, from that sort of goal kick crouch position to develop the strength of the quads, the hamstrings, and the glutes. So a lot of the movement is in the hips. So his, 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 his sort of lower back spine is very stable, and he's flexing through his hips there, and then he's extending through his hips there. I think a lot of power, whether it be sprinting, jumping, a lot of the power is in the hips, so it's important that when we do strength exercises or power exercises, we make sure we use the hips. And what we found with Steph as, as he's increased this sort of work and the hip thrust work, we have found when we test his jumps that they've actually improved quite a lot. Normally with this, with Steph, we do three sets of five, five, six. Cross out, left foot in strike, another save from Ortega. It was bouncing and bobbling towards goal, and Ortega gets down to his right to meet it. You need to be fresh for a lot of this stuff, because with power work, freshness is key, but also trying to maintain, trying to maintain your technique when you're very, very tight is quite hard. So when you're putting this in with your goalkeeper training, make sure that when you do this sort of work in the gym, you're nice and fresh. I see the difference from my body when I arrived in the summer, until now, I improved a lot um, with the help of the coaches here. Yeah, and Simon, Simon is uh, perfect for me. Yeah, he's not like, you know, not like a teacher who is there and say like, ah, we have to, we have to do it tomorrow. Some days are like, I look to uh, Simon and say like, I'm a bit tired today, then it's not a problem. So we go again on the next day, but I'm fresh to do the exercises in the right way. So it's a good togetherness, I would say.